Hello, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Today, playing some Boros Tokens in Historic Best of Three. Now, this is a deck I remember toying around with when Elish Norn was first introduced into Historic. And I remember the deck being a whole bunch of fun, but not the most powerful. This here is John Ramos's new take on the deck. I think it's a pretty sweet build, and I definitely want to try it out. I will put a link to his original deck in the description down below. So, I'm going to talk about the deck briefly, then jump into a few games with it. To start... I suppose I have to start with Elish Norn. Elish Norn is a big baddie in the deck. It gives our creatures plus two, plus two, and all of our opponent's creatures minus two, minus two. We want to cheat this out on the field, and we do that by using Transmogrify. It says exile target creature. We are going to exile one of our tokens. Then it says that creature's controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. Put that onto the battlefield. Elish Norn is the only creature in the deck, so of course we're going to find this 100% of the time. The rest of the deck consists of tokens and ways of pumping up those tokens. We're playing four copies of Legion's Landing, which creates a vampire token. Four copies of Raise the Alarm, which creates two white 1-1 one, one soldier tokens. Four copies of F Forbidden Friendship creates two 1-1 one, one tokens. One is a dinosaur, one is a human soldier. And then two copies of History of Vanellia, which will give us two 2-2 two, two knight tokens. We also have a couple of other cards that will pump up our tokens as well as uh, create more tokens heroic reinforcements three copies of this it creates two one one white soldiers and all of our creatures get plus one plus one and haste until the end of turn this is a really great finishing card also playing four copies of you see a pair of goblins this is a really flexible awesome new card from the D, &D set i believe we can either use it to create two one one red goblin creature tokens at instant speed or we can use it to buff all of our creatures plus two plus zero really good for suddenly ending a game and then we have the enchantment intangible virtue which will just give all of our creature tokens plus one plus one and vigilance we also have a little bit of removal in the deck with Portable Hole and Rip Apart. And to round out the rest of the deck, we have a couple of, or one copy of Chandra with two more copies of Chandra in the sideboard. Chandra just does a lot. It does two damage to our opponent's face if we need to end the game suddenly. Uh, it also ramps us. It also does four damage to a creature. Chandra's just awesome. As far as the lands go, pretty typical Boros mana base, but we are playing two copies of Den of the Bugbear, which also creates tokens. In the sideboard, we have a little bit of Graveyard Hate with Relic of Progenitus. We have Adonto Vanguard, four copies of this. This card is just really good to bring in against Control that is using like a lot of board wipes because the pay for life give Adonto, or Adonto Vanguard indestructible until the end of turn is really valuable in those situations. A couple of copies of Paladin Class. It's another anthem for our deck and it also makes it hard for our opponents to cast things on our turn. More Graveyard Hate with two copies of Rest in Peace. And finally, three copies of Adeline. She creates a bunch of tokens as well. So that is the deck. Going to run it through some games and see how well it performs. See you over there. All right. Tokens in Historic. I'm really pulling for this deck. I, Of all the decks that I've been playing recently, I think this is the deck that I want to do the best, the most. However, an opening hand like this is the exact opposite way of doing that. This doesn't look too great either, but I can at least mulligan the Elish Norn pretty easily because of course we want that in the deck. All right, hoping to run into some, you know, fair, good matchups. Give our tokens the, their best shot at maybe taking down a victory. Okay, that's annoying. That's super annoying, actually, because I have a lot of cards in my deck that will allow them to draw cards with that on the field. So, got to get rid of that. So, if I go Forbidden Friendship into another land, maybe Heroic Intervention reinforcements after that. But the Freebooter is saying no, no. So, this is maybe Orzhov Humans. Not a deck you see very often. Wow. Okay. Can't attack. Just get to sit here. Oh my goodness. That's brutal. But that's okay. At least that was an okay draw. But to see Thalia the turn before my heroic reinforcements is a little disheartening. Oh, they're absent humans. Absent humans are super sweet. I like where the opponent's head's at. 
Hopefully they don't have an elite spellbinder. Cause it sure it sure feels like an elite spellbinder. Okay. What's well, not? So I get to do this, get to make a couple of tokens, three threes. I get to flip my Legion's landing, potentially. <sighs> Opponent! Come on. Don't be Don't be like that. Um, one thing about this deck, it, when it runs out of steam, it really, really, really runs out of steam, and I don't think there's a whole lot else I can do. Uh, what would be a great card off the top? A Transmogrify would be just fantastic, although now a little bit less fantastic. Okay. Well, I know when I'm beat. I know, I know when the game is telling me that you cannot win. So the main board feels okay. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I think we're probably as good as we're going to get against humans. Just got to be a little bit luckier. Oi, game two. Got to bounce back. That, that first performance was not what I want to see. It's kind of lackluster, but if I do find the Transmogrify, it's going to be a pretty cool card with what I have. However, oh, okay. All right. So you're telling me there's a really good chance for a blowout here. Because I think if I do get the Elvish Norn onto the field, there's... Why? It's just not fair. It's really not fair. Okay, so now I gotta find a portable hole and another land. Yeah. There's a 0% chance they didn't take that. I could double block the Thraben Inspector. Is that worth it? Maybe. Sure. Not the worst card. Not the worst card at all. However, all these one twos are really stonewalling me. <laughs> Imagine that your deck just gets shut down by a one two. Uh, maybe one of the big problems with with uh, tokens. Hmm. They know I have the you see a pair of goblins, so. Blocking here is going to be risky for them. Really? Yeah. Let's get the Luminarch off the field. Put in some nice damage. And then the Heroic Reinforcements is going to represent quite a bit of damage on the following turn. If I end up deploying that. General Kudro, sure. Oh. Oh. Okay, new plan. I don't think there's any reason to run in now. Hmm. No, okay. I think I'd rather have a little bit of a wider board just in case they're able to take this transmogrify away from me. Okay, now it's risky to use the Transmogrify because they might have the Dire Tactics in hand. And if that's the case, they can kill the thing that I'm trying to exile with the Transmogrify. Instead, I think I'd just rather go around. Okay. Cool. All right, all right. Tokens proving that they can get it done. Run over people. Yeah, deck's fine. All right. Third game. Opponent on the play, though, is going to be a little... Quite the advantage for them. I hate this hand. 
I can't keep it. They're going to certainly have disruption for the transmogrify between Elite Spellbinder and the Freebooter. There's no way that sticks in my hand, but it's so powerful. And if I can get it off, they also have removal. No, no, there's just no way. This one's a little tricky too. I don't know. I want to keep them all. I guess I get rid of one of those or yeah. Intangible Virtue, I think, is really important in this matchup because, well, there you go. Uh, one ones are super bad, as you saw against, like, the Freebooter. Just shuts things down too hard. They have to take the rip apart. Okay. So, go out with the Virtue. Nothing else to be done. And then, I guess, it's going to be trying to make a couple of Gabos. Hopefully they don't have another another freebooter. That would be real sad. They don't. Okay. So they're up to collected company mana, if that is what they're gunning for. Finding all the lands, which is super awesome. I have to imagine that this is a collected company, right? I don't want to attack into a collected company. I could have attacked into the collected company. Who knew? Den of the Bugbear may be good eventually. I think I'm going to go out with this, though. Just because I don't want to give them any extra cards with the Esper Sentinel. Do you think they have another collected company? What are the chances they have another? I'll do it. Because I do have the pump. They do. Wow. So I can at least go up to five. Oh, opponent. I'm so sorry. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Those, uh, those collected companies didn't treat the opponent nicely. Okay. Creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller pay one for each of those creatures. Really neat. Okay. I would be remiss not to do this right now. They have one mana up. They could have a fatal push here. No. Wow. All right, Gobbos. Or, yeah, well, the goblins. The tokens taken down. Abzan humans with the, the might of Elish Norn. Whew. Next one. Game two. Boros tokens. Showing their power last time that they can actually get it done. So hoping for similar results. Opening hand looks pretty sweet. A little bit of removal if the opponent has a good turn one. Otherwise, just start loading up the board with things. Uh, that was a mistake. I definitely should have gone out with the Clifftop Retreat. Oopsie doozy. Oopsie doozy. Talking nonsense now. Well. We'll do that. I... Does this mean Jeskai Control? Maybe... Yeah, I think it's just going to be instant speed raise the alarm. Oh. Okay, they might have a fatal push. Something like that. I don't know why I snapped... Well, I guess it was right to put that out. It's probably okay. All right. Couple of 2-2 two, two Vigilant tokens. Opponents gotta do something. I'm sure they have, yeah, push or some, some interaction. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the Transmogrify. I don't know if I'm gonna really have the window to be able to do that. I 
I think it's probably better just to go out with the pair of goblins. Love that this is this and this are both instant speed. This card was quite the upgrade for this deck, I think. Yeah. I was thinking about responding and putting out the goblins then, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Unfortunately, Portable Hole, not super great against the Bone Crusher Giant. And these 2-2 goblins are not going to do so much. But got to do something. And Portable Hole to the rescue. Maybe, oh, you know, I should have put an Elishnorn there. I don't know why I didn't. I just clicked through it. It's possible they would have had the fatal push for whatever target goblin, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta put out, I gotta try to put out Elish. Otherwise, I'm not getting through this bone crusher giant. I'm just gonna be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Okay. Let's get on this Narset. I guess that's one way to get rid of a Bone Crusher Giant. Hopefully they don't have what would be bad extinction event. Because Languish doesn't do enough. Shadow's Verdict is not good enough. Nickel Bolus is pretty good. In exchange for pretty good. <laughs> so I will be able to kill both their Planeswalkers this turn though. They have the Inquisition. Sure. Inquisition is not really gonna <laughs> find much. I assume they take the rip apart because, like I said, the portable holes are literal garbage. Again, finding that this card, well, just the matchups have been a little bit weird, but not having the best luck with portable hole. Okie dokie. Uh, if they are playing a similar deck to what I was playing when I played Grixis, they don't play too many counter spells. So I'm not too afraid of doing this at instant speed. Sure. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. But they can't cast it. Oh no, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Your mana base. History of Benelli is not terrible. Sure. Oh wait, make three threes. And of course you give me the option to cast Portable Hole, targeting my own creatures, that's always fun. Drown in the lock to kill the 3-3. Three, three. Sure. But then they can't cast out the Bone Crusher this turn. They can cast out the Bone Crusher this turn. Cool. You know what? Hey. Sure. That's cool. Not a terrible card at all. Now, I'm not going to be getting any benefit from the History of Benelia next turn because these are not knights. They're soldiers. problem. Give me, give me a pump. Not a pump. Do I, do I slam in, take them down to one? I think, I think I do, right? I do have Chandra in the deck, so if I do top deck... Sh Brutal. Okay, down to three. Da three is much, much worse than two. Or one. Uh, yeah. Drown the lock. Good card. 
pretty good card. They attack. They're going to flip Nicol Bolas, destroy my poor soldier. But I'm going to top deck my heroic reinforcements and destroy them. That's exactly what's going to happen. I don't even... I'm, I don't even need to finish the game. I know I know how it's going to end. Oh, that's much worse. You can do that? <laughs> oh, no. And we just get a mountain? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. So... The, the Wrath of Nicol Bolas was a bit too much for for me. <laughs> um, their removal, Anger of the Gods, maybe they're going to bring in some kind of exile effect, but I think the Adanto Vanguard is still going to be pretty good. Paladin class maybe also decent. I don't know if I like the Transmogrify Elish Norn combo in this deck because of how much removal they're going to have. It's going to be really hard for me to find that spot where I can slide in the Transmogrify. So I think I'd rather just have more Chandra's, more and uh, more threats like the Adental Von God. Sure. Oh, wait. I had 62 cards. I thought I took out enough. My. My bad. <laughs> hey, more more cards can't hurt that much, right? It's perfect. Look at that. How great is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 62 cards. It's fine. So, Legion's Landing to start. Probably gonna save the Raise the Alarm now. Because I really want to flip this Legion's Landy as, quick as, as quickly as I can. And if I use the Raise the Alarm, they kill something. I still have the hasty Forbidden Friendship Dinosaur. I should be able to flip. I don't think they're going to have... Yeah, okay. Hey, that's good. That's real good. Yeah, just go for it, right? They can't wipe this board. This should almost end the game. It could be an anger of the gods here, and I'm just blow. It's just a blowout. I, I am really putting everything on the field. Okay, it's not an anger of the gods. Doesn't matter. No counter spell, please. Please let this happen. Oh, trying to walk. Dirty dog. All right. Well, now, now things get very complicated because I can't imagine this board survives four mana. Especially two red mana. Ooh, Nicol Bolas is not the... Okay. Yeah, let's go around Nicol Bolas. It's fine. We can do it. Go team. This is this is persistence, right? Tokens showing their undying I don't know, words. Eagerness to achieve victory at all costs. Wow. There's a better word. Let me know. Anyways, that's cool. We got a victory there. I, that was just lucky. It could have been a blowout very quickly. So, not super representative of how this deck wants to win. Just gross. Okay. I think I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, maybe that was the wrong thing. Maybe it was Forbidden Friendship. Hey, game helps me out. Persistence. That was the word I was looking for. Such strong resolve and persistence through all adversity. Tokens go wide, one ones, and they persevere. There we go. I remember my words. Fantastic. 
put this out on red, put out the old Vanguard, and that's probably going to be a pretty good card to have on the field. Next turn, I might be able to flip the Legion's Landing if I can get the Forbidden Friendship off with haste. And hopefully attack with three. They don't have a Black Source. Still don't have a Black Source. But they could have Anger of the Gods here. Okay. I think I have to try to flip the Legion's Landing, especially with the Chandra in hand now. I definitely want to try to get that out onto the field. It'll be very annoying for them to deal with. Prismari Command. So draw two cards, two damage to my poor 1-1. One, one. Okay. Get in for four, though. That's something. Always time to find another land next turn. Nikki B. Hmm. This is a, it's a tricky one. I th so if I draw a land, I'm going to use Chandra to kill the Nicobolus. If I don't draw a land, I want the pair of goblins probably. So I don't think this... Yeah, I think it's the reinforcements that have to go. It sucks. If I go in, I can use the pair of goblins to kill the bolus. If I go in with just the vanguard. I could go in with everything though, and then push damage. I'll lose probably one of these because they'll certainly block the 1-1. One, one. I don't know. Maybe they still block the, the vanguard here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. That was definitely the right play. Okay. Tokens! Unbelievable. I can't believe Grixis just gave up like that. Okay, one more. All right. Third and final match with Boros Tokens. So far, I mean, the deck's performing decently. Uh, definitely getting lucky, but it has to. It's fun, too. I, I think it's a, it's an adorable little deck. Who doesn't like making a whole bunch of 1-1s one and just pumping them up somehow? Plus the blowouts you can get with Elish Norn. Oh, great. This hand looks okay. I think it's fine to keep it. I wish I had the turn one enchantment play. I'm forgetting what it's called. Beach party. Wait. Clifftop. Uh, transmog. Interesting. But. Grixis once again. So. Not. Not super fun. Hopefully this is not. What's that card called? Pay one extra mana. Oh no. Oh. Oh I don't like this. But I do have graveyard hate. Um. The deck is packing Relics of Progenitus and Rest in Peace. So games two and games three will be a little bit smoother if they are trying to cheat out the Opus. Since they're using the Expressive Iteration, I wonder if it's correct to use the Rip Apart to destroy the treasure. That might that might be just crazy though. Juaris. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use this for anything else, right? Let's make it. Let's make it a little bit harder for them to uh, do something. This, maybe this is crazy, but it might just give me enough time. Hmm. Hey, maybe it was the right play. Now the question is going to be, do I transmogrify for an Elish Norn or not? Ooh. This is real sketchy. 
Okay, human. Can't look. I they got something. <gasps> oh, Ellen Schnorn. Wow. And if they if they don't have a follow up, this heroic reinforcements is going to be massive. Certainly, they're going to have some way of dealing with this, though. <laughs> I always believe my opponents to have exactly what they need because it seems like it happens so often. Music's mastery. Not the scariest thing. So what, they kill my dinosaur? Okay. Sure. Shocking in the steam vents is very curious. Yeah, why did they do that? What could they have? So, now with that out of the way, do I push in with the heroic reinforcements to win? Probably. They have two mana open. There's a lot they could probably do with that, but... I think I have to take the chance here and try to just... Ouch. Good, well, good play on you. Good play opponent. So it would have been better just to use the... You see a pair of goblins. They had the one Jawari here. Hmm. I should have... You know what? It was kind of foolish to... Uh, to maybe think that they didn't have anything. Because they're going to shock you into steam vents. They must have something super good. Although that was... Maybe a little risky by the opponent, but that should have been the read. Opponent definitely taking their time with a lot of these decisions, which is fair. Deck seems a little bit more complicated than Boros tokens. Okay. A 2 1 Bone Crusher. So I got to assume that's jumping in front of Elish. Yeah. And at least I have the follow-up pair of goblins that will at least be two twos. Now with the intangible virtue, it would be a whole lot better if Elish and stayed on the field and they were four fours. We'll see. I feel like my my burr, my bat over here is working so hard. Take a break. Yeah, there you go. Hang from the chandelier for a bit. Making me, making me nervous sitting over there and <laughs> spinning his wings constantly. <sighs> Ooh, almost the wrong one. Saving one mana for the Jawari. They might just be hard casting an Opus here. Got to go for it, right? Neat card. I don't see enough of unexpected windfall. I do think it's cool. T-Hulk. T-Hulk's really good. So kill one goblin, tap the other two, and then I'll get these as five fives, I think. Right? Yeah. They got to... Well, they don't have to double block, but... Probably they'll... Oh, wow. Let's get rid of the gear, Hulk. Down to three. Opponent is doing an excellent job fighting through this. <laughs> kind of wish they wouldn't. <laughs> so eight mana at their disposal. They've used two opus. Do they have another opus in the bin? No. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. 
Okay, expressives, and they're going to create a whole bunch of treasure tokens and draw a bunch of cards. So they'll have four mana after this. I'm going to be taking a little bit of damage if they decide to cast that Sweltering Sun. They'll also be killing their token. So I don't think that's the... Mm. Okay. Sure. If they find another Sweltering Sun, it still doesn't really get them out of this. Bit of a dead card for the opponent there with Aether Gust. But that's what happens when you main board silver bullets, right? So they have five mana potentially. I think they played a land this turn. I feel like they played the Haunted Ridge. So probably the Steam Vent's not coming down. It's not coming down on tapped either. They, going down to one would be pretty risky. Okay. Alish Norn gets there. Wow, what a game. That was genuinely a good game. Oh. So, rest in peace. Relic of Progenitus definitely coming in. Uh, Sweltering Suns probably feel okay here. Or not Sweltering Suns. Uh, Vanguard feel pretty good against the Sweltering Suns. How do I feel about the Transmogrify... They do have Bone Crusher Giants to be able to kill my token, so it might be a little tricky to find the spot. <laughs> oh yeah, I won that one game with <laughs> 62 cards in my deck, I think, right? Uh, portable Holes are not the worst because they create tokens. I'm not a huge fan of History of Benelli in these kinds of matchups because it's too transparent. The opponent kind of sees it coming a mile away. I don't know. I don't know if I need the removal in this matchup. I could go down just like a few of the transmogrifies, go down two maybe. So it's not like main strategy, but it's still present. Rip aparts, I think, are just going to be overall bad. I think the history of Benelli is going to be bad. And I don't hate the portable holes because of the tokens. So I think I kind of want to keep them in. I guess I'll drop one Forbidden Friendship like that. I kind of want to go up another Chandra. Yeah, two Forbidden Friendship. Okay, something like that. So we get at least two more cracks at a pretty sweet deck the opponent's playing. It's obnoxious, but I haven't seen it in a very long time, so it's not. it doesn't feel too bad to play, fight against. Relic of Progenitus with the Vanguard is pretty good. Okay. Keep this. I'm going to get... It might be a little risky to put the Progenitus out so quickly because they are playing Prismari Command. Prismari Command does a pretty good job of dealing with the Relic of Progenitus. It's not nearly as resistant as Rest in Peace. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit worried about a Jawari Command or Jawari Disruption, whatever it's called. So I don't really want to throw my Vanguard out. I think the Relic of Progenitus is going to be okay just to double up on. And then next turn I can go out with the Vanguard with the backup mana to hopefully make sure it resolves through a possible Disruption. Oh, I should be doing that. My bad. I always forget about this. Keep their graveyard nice and clean. Oh, wow. Okay. Vanguard it is. Maybe Bone Crusher Giant just gets there. I 
I could transmogrify, but you know, and the Vanguard's gonna be pretty hard to deal with because I can give it indestructible. But I don't think that's really the play. This means that they're going to be able to keep up the Jawari disruption if that's what they have. So I can't really get the opening for the transmog. I don't really want to go down to 12 because then I go down to 12 and then I go down to 8. That's a lot of life to be hemorrhaging. So I think I just let this one go. I do have another one. The question is, do I want to jam this or no? I just put out the other one. Mm. There was no response there. So I use my powers of deduction to know that they don't have the Jawari disruption. Kind of cheating, but is what it is. Okay. Really love them to use this mana so I can get a, try to get this out onto the field. No, not don't play more mana. That's not what I meant. Hmm. T-Hulk. Okay. That hurts, but at least I get to do this. And now Elish Norn, fingers crossed, can hold down the fort. She could just die and then I die on the next turn, but that's the position I'm in. I haven't drawn any other creature cards, so pretty rough. Okay. Oh, deck, come on. This is this is not fair. I can't risk attacking. They could double block and maybe have a Prismari command to get that last little bit of damage on the Elish Norn, and that would be real sad. I think I'm going to crack the Relic of Progenitus. I'm sure some of you have been watching this and yelling, crack the Relic of Progenitus, because I definitely did forget that it was there. Starting to find some action, though, so that's great. I don't... I feel like they don't have anything. I really don't want to risk my Elish Norn, though. And now that I have the the fort, I can start making life linkers. I'm going to put this out because this puts them as... No, they'll be four fours. I was going to say this puts them up to five fives, which will make them a lot more resistant to potential magma opus. But still... I think it's okay to get this on the field. This mana's not doing anything anyways. Okay. Could be a desperation windfall. Still have six mana. Lots they can do with six mana. Though, with these on the field, making a gear hulk, not too threatening. Shandi's good. Play it safe. Maybe cowardice, but... Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with it. So if I put out Chandra and then I plus here, yeah. Let's do that. And I can maybe sack, I don't know if, yeah, I might be willing to sack the Relic of Progenitus to just draw a card. They're down to one card in hand. Rest in peace is really hard for them to get rid of. So I think it's okay. Mm. Oh. 
Yay. Yes! Oh, yeah, I'm so happy. I was... Oh, tokens taking me into Mythic late late in the season. I wasn't really gunning for Mythic, but... Wow, for for this tokens deck to just plow through three games like that and... All right. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm super happy about that. Let's go to a wrap-up. All right, so the little deck that could, apparently. This this thing, I can't believe it took me through those games. Had to get lucky in spots, but Elish Norn hitting the field, proving to be just a, an absolute monster, especially in those spots where the opponent just really couldn't deal with it. And uh, it's just super impressive overall. I absolutely love you see a pair of goblins. I think it fits in so nicely. Uh, also, Rip Apart and Portable Hole being cards that I didn't originally play in my Elish Norn token deck, but I think they fit into it very well. Sideboard looks good. Vanguard, decent in situations. I think it's just always nice to have. Yeah, overall, super fun deck. And I can't believe it, it got me into Mythic. I'm just ecstatic. Uh, even though I think the season is going to be ending in 31 hours. <laughs> uh, I guess it's uh, it's time to start that climb again. Anyways, Boros Tokens showing some some uh, some strength here. This is great. Really happy that they performed well. The little deck that could. That's it for today. It's Monday. Hope you have a good week, at least the start of your week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.